Japanese, uh, Koreans, and Japanese. Ah, and Japanese. Ah, and Japanese. Ah, so this is my first time hanging with the the Chinese. Ah, 第一次跟华人碰在一起。I think you guys are the missing link in my life. Ah, 就是我生命里头这个缺环就是你们。And so I'm very, just very honored, and um, we've been seeing some a mighty, mighty move of God, and ah, 非常看高兴看见神在你们当中所做大的事情。So me, and it's an honor to have my wife with me as well. Ah, 非常高兴我太太也在这里。If she would come, <laughs> That's your key. Uh, can you come forward a little bit? Yeah. I don't do a whole lot of speaking without a guitar in my hand or something. He is a I am a so he does not have a guitar in his hand. If I hold the mic like this, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I hold the mic like this, I will speak. I apologize if I do that. I don't mean to. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know what? This is a whole new journey for me and my wife. I've been playing music for years and years now. Ah, 我已经带敬拜已经好多年了，但是现在是新的季节。And I do believe that worship is a key. Worship uh, translate into all cultures. 我相信啊，敬拜是非常重要。呃，可以可以在超越所有的文化。I heard once someone say one time that we may say a prayer, uh, maybe once or twice, but we would sing a prayer a thousand times. 啊，有人说我们用讲啊，我们祷告可以几次，但是我们可以唱祷告可以一千万次。Yes. So. Um, Many of my, but all of, all of my songwriting is that I've done in the last probably 15 years is all based on、uh, what the Lord has done between us and Him. Ah, 只有我十五年来写写的歌都是啊，神在我们两个人夫妻当中所做的事情，还有跟神。And we got to share this morning at Pastor David's church、uh, a little bit about our testimony and how God has healed our marriage. 啊，在彭牧师那里，我已经分享了神怎么样医治我们两个人婚姻关系。So the difference this year, the new thing is that my wife is with me everywhere I go now. 哈，不同的是，今年我不管走到哪里，太太都跟我走在一起。And that means a lot to me. 啊，对我很有意义。But this morning she was able to share her story you know, for the first time. 今天早上她第一次分享她的故事。And it was very anointed. Very powerful, and I, I saw we saw people's lives touched, and I'm very excited about that. 非常高兴，上帝有透过他做工。But、um, everyone here, even everyone here, has their own story. Amen. 每一个人都有故事。And、uh, it's very important that we don't be silent, but we share a story with, with the people who need it to hear. 我们我们真的要去分享，不要寂寞。Um, and I always heard I heard this quote one time that really. Settled it with me,、um, but there's many people in the church even who are hurting. Ah, 有一啊，这个在教会里头很多人是有很多的受伤的。And we know that many times hurt people tend to hurt others. Ah, 有时候这个受伤的人就容易去伤人。But God wants to heal us and set us free from these things. 但神真的要呃医治我们，然后让我们得自由。Because free people, free people. 因为自由的人可以让别人自由。Amen. Hurt people may hurt people, but free people. 受伤的人可以伤害别人，受自由的人可以让人自由。And we know that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Amen. 神的灵在哪里，哪里就有自由。Amen. So this is、uh, the beginning of for me and my wife being together as one and sharing our story.、Um, I'm excited about that. So, 我太太跟我在这站在一起，然后我们一起分享我们的故事，我非常兴奋。So I'll try to just. I'm gonna give you all the brief version. We got married. At, I was 17 and she was 15 years old. Ah,、uh, 结婚的时候我十七岁，她是十五岁。Her dad was the pastor with the shotgun. Ah,、uh, 她的爸爸是一个牧师，带着机关枪来。<laughs> just kidding. He was the pastor. But,、um, when we said our vows to one another, we agreed that as long as Jesus would stay in the center of our relationship, as we draw closer to Him, it would bring us closer to one another. 我们在婚约的时候说，只要耶稣是在当当中心，我们会跟他靠近。Of course, there's the opposite. If we fall away from Jesus, we would fall away from. 然后我们如果离开耶稣的话，我们也彼此会离开的。So as we, you know, when we got into this marriage, we didn't know what we was getting into. 
about six years in our marriage, it began to fall apart. Yes. And um, during this time, I myself I had already started uh, as a worship leader, but then I was struggling with the call of God in my life versus you know my old friends and hanging out with the people I shouldn't hang out. So I was kind of on the fence. In my faith, 我已经是在做带领敬拜的，但是我在挣扎，因为我还有一些老朋友，我还有一个老坏习惯。And as a, even though I was young, I was still a husband and a father. And as a husband and a father, it's very, very important for us to keep the faith and to be leaders following after the Lord. 虽然是年纪很轻，但我已经是一个丈夫，也一个父亲。然后非常重要的是，我一定要跟随耶稣。Because because God has appointed us to be head over our families, and if the head is is not straight, then the rest suffer as well. Because God wants us to be head over our families, and if the head is not straight, then the rest suffer as well. So as a result of my being on the fence or lukewarmness, my marriage began to crumble. So, but I was on the fence, not straight, not strong. So, our marriage crumbled. And me and me and my wife, we had separated for a time. Ah, we ah, 已经分分开有四次 ，and I was heartbroken and so she. Ah, 我们心都碎了 ，and then I remembered the vow that we made, and I remembered that if we would stay run, if we would run back to Jesus, maybe He would make it better. 但是我记得我们是婚约所说的，所宣誓的，所以我相信能够回到耶稣面前，我们可以靠再再恢复我们关系。I felt like the prodigal son running home. Uh, um, so I went after her and I, I, I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? So I went to her and I asked her, could we both together repent? Because we we couldn't have any more secrets. Because 认罪我们就不再能够有保持我们的秘密了 And、uh, we weren't we weren't alone. We had a, a pastor friend of mine who was counseling us the whole time. He's the one who told us that we should not have any secrets toward to each other. Ah, 我们是有一个牧师朋友带领我们，所以他也告诉我们说，我们彼此之间不可以有秘密 So when she began to tell me things, uh, things I didn't know. That broke my heart. He told me things I didn't know. My heart was broken. And some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Some of it was very heavy and very hard for her. Her mother wasn't saved at the time; did not know the Lord at all. 那个时候，她母亲不认识主。And so she went to the doctor on the abortion day that was scheduled, and she's ready to go. She's she's in the room. 她妈妈已经去医医生那里准备啊堕胎了。Only thing waiting is the doctor to come in in just a few minutes. 就是等医生就过几分钟就进来。She's laying on the bed and she has a vision from God. 他就在躺在那个床床呃那个那里的时候，就有看见异象。And the vision is that there are cow cows lined up going to a slaughter and not being killed one by one. 啊，就是看见啊，异象里头就是一些牛一直排队，然后被牵到宰杀之地。The fear of God hits her, and the Lord tells her, "Get up, get out." 神就说，起来，然后出去。And then Lindsay is born nine months later. 然后九个月以后 ，Lindsay 她就出生了。So this was a miracle from heaven. So this is 天上来的神迹 That God would send a word to someone who doesn't even know Him to save a child. 神差神送他的话语到一个还不认识他的人，然后来救了一个孩子 Then, when Lindsay was、uh, seven and and nine years old, she was molested by strange men who were friends of her. Her family, just friends. Ah, seven, nine, years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine years old, she was molested by strange men. And then, when she was seven, nine
And then when she was 13 years old, she's telling me all this during this time of counsel. She's telling me this. When she was 13 years old, she was, uh, there was a man who was a part of the church there who had, he wasn't a good man. He was rebuked. Her dad was the pastor. This man was rebuked by her father in the church. The man was uh, not a good man and he was very angry. So he, he went to Lindsay's home. He knew where the pastor lived and he broke in the door and raped Lindsay. And then he left there and drove two states away and he stabbed his fiance about 40 times. Lindsay had never told anyone. Lindsay's only me about this. She, how old were you? 26? 22? 22 years old, never told a soul. Um, this this is hard, so sometimes I just I tell her the, the story for her. But, um, as long as the the this was secret, it was impossible for for her to heal. She could never trust me or trust God. So the minute she started to release this, it came out like a river. Then the healing process began. So because of a lot of this stuff, our marriage was pretty much doomed. It was it would have never worked out because there's too much pain. So all I can say is but God. And you said before. Because of the Lord. He's the one who can heal us from the inside out. All a part of his plan. So Lindsay began to be healed. The Lord has set her free. And um, and that, and now she's writing a book actually. <laughs> yeah, to share that her story. And then she healed her from her past. The Lord showed me not to leave. Not to leave her. He helped me to see her through his eyes. And I began to pray for her. And I knew that God could heal us. So I stayed after it. All of these years, God, you will heal our marriage, you will heal our relationship. Never give up. Keep pressing in. And he will hear you. And he will heal you. It's the only way. There is no other way. Buddha cannot heal you. God, false gods cannot heal you. They can't. I just picked one. There's there's so, if you ask someone who doesn't who, who worships other gods, ask him. They're they're hurt, they're empty. They're sad, they're rejected. But because I'm a believer in the creator of heaven and earth, he sent his son to die for me. I'm healed. And now we're together 22 years. Four children, and a grandbaby. <laughs> Uh, we have a girl as a grandbaby. grandbaby. Uh, and, uh, and then we have our oldest daughter, Brianna. And then we have uh, Ethan, Malachi, and Isaiah. Uh, this is just a brief description of kind of what God's done with us. But um, uh, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll come again and uh, and even share more. In year 2013, uh, when Pastor Anton visited our church, he prophesied and said, uh, HIC, God is going to connect you with the First Nations. And because he also said that uh, they, will, they need spiritual fathers and mothers. And many of you are going to be raised up to be the spiritual parents. At that time, I thought, oh, maybe he's, he met the uh, First Nation people in Taiwan or in China. There's a lot. Later in uh, year two, uh, 15, we met uh, Linda Prince at uh, Fremont. So she is the one that encouraged us. She said, you know, you go back to the East Coast and try to find them and connect with them. At that time, we didn't know anyone. We still didn't. At that time, we didn't know anyone. And I said, Oh Lord, where to find them? And last, uh, uh, last July, actually, we had a gathering at uh, Egg Harbor, and we met Mary and John. And then, so we start connecting with them, and we invite them to our home. And then last October at the All Tribe DC meeting, then I met more of them, more leaders. And when I was in uh, Oroville, um, in February, I also met Brian and Robbie. And so a couple of weeks, just two weeks ago, yeah, we actually visited Brian and, and his wife, and we had a covenant, we had a meal together, and later we made a salt covenant. And today they are here with us. Praise the Lord. Share something. Hello, I'm Brian Labonte from Northeastern New York. I feel kind of a little bit out of place because this is the first year my wife started traveling with me as well, but she couldn't make it this time. So I've been hearing, you know, a lot about the, the couples and all, like, man, my heart is aching. <laughs> it's, it's taken us a lot of years to really learn how to love each other in the covenant that he has set forth with our guidelines. So anyway, I'm, I'm so grateful. This is a new day and a new age. For us as well. To be connected with with people from Asia, it's a new thing to me. But it's a good thing, and it's the unity that our Father has has longed for between all of His people, this, all the ages. I do. 
，一直所希望的就是我们可以在主里头合一。So, so to make this to make this connection and to be able to call all of you family is a great honor to me. Ah, to be able to call all of you family is a great honor to me. Ah, to be able to call all of you family is a great honor to me. Ah, to be able to call all of you family is a great honor to me. Ah, to be able to call all of you family is a great <笑>啊，如果大家到纽约啊、呃、北边的话，呃，上周啊，请大家来来我们家。I said bless you， 祝福大家。Precious and holy name of our Savior Yeshua， 奉着耶稣基督的圣名。Great honor, thanks and glory in His name for this extended family。荣耀赞美归给他，也赐给恩待啊神的家里。Amen, amen。Amen, amen。Hello. Our connection with you guys, Egg Harbor, is memorable. It's historic to us. Ah, in Egg Harbor, 去年七月的时候，好像啊，我们的连接啊是很很值得纪念。So the the welcome that began there. I'm just happy to be here today with you. Ah, 那个时候大家已经欢迎我们。现在我非常高兴今天又可以在这里。Do believe that、um, we're in a, in a season we've heard new terminology. Era, the era has changed. The era. 就是这个整个的季节真的是在改变。I just want to say the word from my father to me, our Creator, that the brothers will never be divided again. Ah,、uh, 天天父告诉我们说，兄弟一定不会再分家了。So we just want to bless that word, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The unity that is intended from your heart may it connect with our heart. Every seed that was sown for dishonor, for disruption, even for division, Lord, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ to every seed that was not from your heart, and may it do no harm to your body today. In the name of Yeshua. 主啊，我们奉主耶稣名，所有一切分裂的种子，从不是从神那来的。我们今天奉主的名说，这些在仇敌再也不能在我们当中工作。我们真的是在主里头，一家彼此相爱到永远。阿门。不输，你唱了。不输是他们以为啊，他们。It sounds like French, right? <laughs> so, or we say "watchie," that means greetings. Watchie. Yeah, it's my initial language. Um, so, so our connection starts in Egg Harbor last July, and、um, sh shortly thereafter, we began to hear the the term of the the gathering. 去年七月我们在 Egg Harbor 见面以后，后来就一直听见回家这个词。And to hear the family gathering just、um, captured my heart. 就是啊，打动了我的心。Because everything that we do as First Nations people, we do by relational relationships. Because we, ah, this, this, we are indigenous people. We are all connected by relationships. And so, my connection to to the、um, the Chinese and the Asians, incidentally, I took a an, a DNA test. Oh, is we with ah, this Asian and Chinese people together. After I did the DNA test. Into the confirmation of of、um, the Asian people, they kept telling me, "Well, you're a brother, you're a sister," and so I I'm sixteen percent East Asian. Ha ha, I really have ninety six percent Asian DNA. And the rest is First Nations, of course. Of course, the rest is I'm Asian. But anyway, I want to I want to share the word that John gave us in John chapter one. But anyway, I want to I want to share the word that John just just gave us the era. 呃、uh, ，讲我先讲他刚刚讲说这个这个时代 ，era 世纪这个世纪。So we've talked a lot about seasons that we walk through. 啊、uh, ，我们就讲了很多有关季节的。But an era is a point in time. 但是这个世纪就是说在某一个特定的时刻。We can almost envision that this is evolving time, evolving moment. 啊、uh, ，就是这个是一个关键性的一个时刻。We are being involved for for such a time as this. We might say. Ah,、uh, 真的是岂不是为现今的时刻吗 ？And I believe this is an hour we are standing 
at, at this time, at this point in time where the First Nations people and the indigenous people all over the globe are coming together and connecting according to Father's heart. And I believe that's where my heart connected with the Asian in the family gatherings. But we are also standing at a time where things are very critical. There's an attack on families. 因为, uh, 家被, uh, 家庭被侵犯, marriages. 婚姻, even even um, renaming what what a family is. 甚至于再重新定义家庭, accepting things that are, that have long been disclosed to us as people that would would be between a man and a woman. That's just one example. But anyway, we're standing at a place where we are going to be leading a people into places of freedom. So we don't just we don't just kind of segue into the next season, if you will. There has to be a point in time in our life where we are going to be able to make a change. Things that have been done in the past season or even in the last era cannot look the same in the next era. As we stand together as First Nations leaders in America, and also Canada, when I say the Americas, I guess, the Turtle Island, we call it. Uh, Turtle Island, as we stand as in, in leadership and we are going to lead a people into their destiny, so much of what we have done in the past is that we just kind of like fall in line with, had, with what had been um, um, demonstrated for us as far as church as an organized, when I say church, I'm talking about the organized um, um, institution. And it's not to say that that was bad, but we're standing in a new time where we need a people to come together as family. So we connect on the level of relational contact and connection. And 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 so from there, we're going to, we have leaders that are, have been positioned at this hour in this new era that would lead a people into freedom. And, and in the First Nations, there have been many things that have been lost in the last era. We're talking about identity issues. And we have a time right now where there is the groaning of the land. To see the redemptive sons of God come into maturity. But if we're going to be leading a, a people of sonship come into that place of maturity, there needs to we need to take on a new way of not just asking God for His blessing, which we already have. This is a time where we need to get face to face with God. And that looks a little bit different than asking Him for blessings which He already gave to us freely. This is an era that we have stepped into if we're going to be declaring healing for our people in the land, it needs to come into that place of, of coming face to face with the Father heart of God. And 
And I believe in that face-to-face -face connection, I believe that's the healing that Robbie and Lindsay are experiencing because when you have gone through a lot of pain and a lot of brokenness, there is no other way to go but to go face-to-face -face with the Father. So that's what Robbie and Lindsay just said. That's what they 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 said. In the in the Bible, we know two great men that that encountered this, and they were called God's friends. Ah, 在圣经里头有两个人是啊，他们就跟神面对面，成为神的朋友。Abraham. 亚伯拉罕。And Moses. 摩西。And when we think about Moses, this is a man who who saw the supernatural. 摩西看见了很多的经历的超自然。Time and time again, he saw the miraculous and the supernatural acts of God in his throat by his hand and by his mouth. 一次又一次，透过他的手，透过他的嘴，上帝行了很多的神神迹。But when you read of him in Exodus 33, and it was time to lead his people into freedom. 但是读出埃及记三十三章，当他要带领以色列百姓进入迦南的时候。He did not rely on the supernatural acts that he had participated with the Father. 那个时候他没有在靠着啊他过去所经历过的这个神迹奇事。He said, "Show me your glory." 他说显向我显明你的显现你的荣耀。And he said this. He said, "We will not go unless you go with us." 我们不去，除非你跟我们同去。So it is with that heart. But as we stand as leaders across this nation, so today we, as a nation's leader, we are standing in this position. That we can rely on the last great gathering we had. We cannot rely on the last great gathering we had. That this is a time to to poke our hands through and our hands through that veil. We must put the veil aside. We must put the veil aside. To lay hold of God and all His promises. 然后抓住神啊的所有的应许。That each time it must be fresh manna, fresh bread. 每一次都是新鲜的玛纳。And in that place, we we come face to face. 然后在那样子，我们可以跟天父能够面对面。Now, what about the those that come after us? 那那些将要跟着我们上来的人。You read about Joshua. 你看到约书亚。Joshua probably did not know that he was being prepared to succeed Moses. Ah, Joshua 起先可能不知道他是要来继承啊这个呃约摩西的。But Joshua began to practice being in the presence of God. 但是约书亚他操练在神的面前。Because it is said of him that when everybody else took a break, 当别人休息的时候 ，he stood at the tent of meeting. 他在会啊会幕那里跟神还仍然在交通。Joshua also fought wars and won. 而且他也打仗，而且得胜。Joshua walked with Moses. 他跟他跟随摩西。He learned from Moses. 他从摩西那里学。And God handpicks him, and he tells Moses, he said, "Go, go, go, call Joshua, the son of Nun." 神挑选了约书亚，跟摩西讲说，你去找嫩的儿子约书亚。And he handpick he handpicks him to commission him for his next era. 然后神就选择了他成为。So as First Nations people and leaders, 所以我我们作为啊这个原住民的领袖 ，my heart and my prayer， 我的祷告是 ，is that we would raise up a people and a generation， 我们要兴起下一代 ，that would seek the face of God， 来寻求神的面 ，that we would not condition our people， 我们不。Condition our people to 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 hang out in the presence and just and 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 be happy with that to be be to settle for that. Right. 我们不会叫他们说你只要啊例行公事，在神的面前这样啊像宗教性的活动就好，不可以的。So it, this has been on my heart the last in the last for a few months now. 这是几啊最近这几个月我心里的负担。To be a, a people that would that would carry this out and walk this out. Ah, 成为啊这样子的人，然后把神负担的能够把它行出来。So I wanna I wanna just bless you that your as family, Papa Fred, we love Papa Fred. Ah, 我们爱。And Monica. 许爸跟许妈，我们是一个家。And and I feel that even as the first time I heard Papa Fred speak was at. 
And in Philadelphia, we were having a gathering for regional leaders. And I went home and I told John, I said, you must meet this man. I had no idea that in the near future, we would be family. And we are so grateful to have fathers and mothers demonstrating what it is to be, to be those that, that are leading this charge of family and covenant relationships. I want to thank you, and I want to just pray and release a prayer. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you that you bring us into this point in time for such a time as this. We de I declare, Lord God, a marking in the heart. That you would mark every heart in this room and in this in every family represented. That we have stepped into a new time. Where we will lay hold of your promises. That where we will walk not just as survivors but as victors. And we speak the eternal power of the love of Christ. And the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all things. In the light that it produces for us to walk in. We speak, this, we speak this over every son and daughter. Grandchildren. Estranged families. And Father, that you would bring us into that place of connection. By the power of your Son, Jesus. We bless your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh,